Hey guys, my name is Doug with infotainment.com. Today we're working on a 2013 to 2018 Ram 1500 truck. We really want to enhance the look and feel of this truck in our build series, so we're gonna go ahead and replace the grill. Now the grill on this truck behind me is a tradesman grill. There's no zing or zang with it. It just looks terrible. We want to upgrade to the new style Ram Chrome grill. So we chose this specific one. We'll put the part number in the description and on our website so you guys can read up on it. The part number for the heavy duties are a little bit different. We'll also publish that as well. But today we're gonna show you guys how easy it is to upgrade your grill. You don't have to go with an aftermarket grill. You can stick with factory just like we do here at Infotainment with all of our upgrades. So let me show you how easy it is to put this on your truck. All right, before we get started on removing the grill, all we need is a couple of tools. One is a 10 millimeter uh, socket and a ratchet or an impact of some sort, and a panel tool. All right, so up underneath the hood, you have this black plastic cover you're gonna need to remove. It's just held in with uh, a few retaining clips. These are kind of like the uh, Christmas tree that instead of gripping it from underneath the clip itself, I like to go underneath the whole uh, plastic shroud, that way the clip stays in place. When we go to put it back in, all we gotta do is line it up and press it back down. You have another large one right next to your radiator cap. Pop that up. One more next to the hood latch on both sides. Down on the driver's side next to the radiator hose and above the driver's headlight. Now with all those removed, you can just pull the shroud up and set it aside. And that'll give us access to the four 10 millimeter bolts that we need to remove. And the first one is next to your coolant reservoir. And again, next to your hood latch or your hood release. And on the right side. And one next to your windshield washer reservoir on your uh, driver's side. All right, once you pull the four 10 millimeter bolts out, you can just take your grill and pull towards you to release the retaining clips that are holding it on. And we can set this aside. All right, now with our new grill in hand, you basically line it up to your screw holes on top. And once they're lined up on top, you can give it a smack. So those retaining clips are now holding it on. And now it's simply replacing those four 10 millimeter bolts and replacing our plastic uh, radiator shroud. All right, and that wraps up this install. As you can see, it was super easy, super simple. Um, only a few minutes in total to get this grill swapped out. Um, and it's that easy to get a much more aggressive look on the front of your RAM. This is probably one of the uh, easiest installs that we're gonna do on this build series. Um, so if you like this video and you wanna see more, come back to infotainment.com.